every single thing your computer does, from opening a folder, to playing a video, to calculating a spreadsheet, is broken down into millions or billions of extremely basic instructions. The CPU's job is to read these instructions and perform them, one by one, at incredible speed. So, how does a CPU actually perform this incredible feat? The best way to understand its core function is to think of it like a highly efficient office, repeating a three-step cycle billions of times per second. Fetch, decode, and execute. To understand a CPU, let's start with a single core, which is the fundamental brain of the processor. Inside each core, a team of two components works together. The first is the control unit, which acts as a project manager, fetching and decoding instructions from memory. Then there's the arithmetic logic unit, the powerful calculator that executes these instructions by handling all the math and logic. The speed at which this team completes its instruction cycle is the clock speed, measured in gigahertz or billions billions of times per second. But a fast core is useless if it's constantly waiting for data. This is the CPU's main bottleneck. It's thousands of times faster than the computer's main memory, or RAM. To solve this, each core has its own cache, a small, extremely fast memory bank built right next to it. The cache size determines how much data can be stored locally, which is critical for performance because it minimizes slow, time-wasting trips to RAM. So a single core with a fast clock speed and a large cache is powerful. But to handle modern multitasking, CPUs simply use multiple cores. A quad-core CPU has four of these independent processing units, allowing it to work on four different tasks simultaneously. While cores, clock speed, and cache size define a CPU's raw throughput, a key microarchitectural feature is designed to maximize its hardware utilization. To work more efficiently, a single CPU core uses a technique called simultaneous multi-threading. A core often has to pause while waiting for data to arrive from the computer's slow main memory a delay known as memory latency. SMT cleverly uses that downtime. While one task, or thread, is stalled waiting for data, the core instantly switches to a second thread to keep its hardware busy. This doesn't double the performance but it dramatically boosts efficiency by turning wasted time into useful work. Of course, this isn't the full picture. It's an incredibly deep topic and we've only scratched the surface. But if you want to see how a GPU tackles problems differently, or get a simple breakdown of a neural engine, check out these videos next.